アリエオjoin in man he makes look like a fool put the cat down <laughs> welcome to the hillbilly kaiju show what's up everybody welcome to the kaiju show today we are looking uh... today we're going to be looking at confessions that people have made on reddit and we're gonna show Hopefully you it's more murder <laughs> murder some funny ones some dark ones some good ones some bad ones let's get into the confessions Whoa, mama. first one says, I knowingly returned the wrong item with my Amazon refund request while keeping the same item just to see what happened. I received the full refund and that's it. Conflicted. Yeah. That one's a soft one. Yeah, that one's a, a light. Entry. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah, that's a, delve into it. I okay. feel like, yeah. Dude, they make so much money that like, don't even feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I beat my best friend up for putting his dick all over my 10 year old brother's furniture. That's, that's, a lot. I, that's really all you need to know. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, it's pretty self-explanatory, but also yeah. a lot to digest. Yeah, beat up best so, friend, put a dick, all tangled by furniture. Sure. What was his reasoning? Not not to beat him up, I get that, but to like, why did your friend just rub his dick all over your uh, little brother's stuff? I don't know, stuff? it says, they smoked in my house, touched all my dad's guns, they made a huge mess, and a person who I thought was my friend put his dick on all of my brother's stuff in my brother's room. Once he told me he started laughing, I got out of my truck and started choking him and beating him up. I started choking. <laughs> His screaming alerted my neighbors. My neighbors called my parents, and my parents found out that I had people at my house. So now they're coming home. I kicked everyone out. The guy I beat up had bruises and gashes. Yeah, put dick on, dick on. <laughs> like, stuff. Just, so now they're kick. coming home. Like he updated. This. <laughs> right. like, he made this. They're coming home right now. <laughs> what do Please. I do? Reddit help. Right. <laughs> I slapped a dog years ago, and now I feel terrible Man, about you should. it. Should fucking dick. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even want to, don't want to just, Yeah, don't slap dogs. Oh, and he said he thought it was a normal way to discipline and establish dominance. <laughs> yeah, well, don't slap dogs. Jerk! I accidentally went on a date with someone who wasn't my boyfriend. Okay. So this is Halloween an interesting story. So she, she basically went on a date with somebody who was her friend who didn't... Her, and her friend didn't know she had a boyfriend. And he took her out. She thought they were just kicking it. And he took her out to like a movie and dinner and like paid for it and everything. And then when they were on the way home, she was just like, like very casually like, oh yeah, you know, my boyfriend, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And so he was just like, okay. And so <laughs> Jesus. she accidentally went on a date <laughs> and the dude didn't know she had a boyfriend and was, was let down by it. I mean, that's a pretty hard lead on. Yeah. To like, yeah. Hey, you want to go bit. on this extravagant date with me? He's like, yeah. And then wait till it's all to be over. Yeah. Like, by the way, yeah. By the way, like. <laughs> so yeah, it's <laughs> fucking. That was in the terms and conditions that he right, skipped right, over when he said, bottom. "I agree." <laughs> exactly. When I was a young teenager, I would write on the walls of fast food restaurant bathrooms with my used tampons. Yeah, I was almost gonna stand up for you, and then <laughs> you hit me with that curveball. <laughs> Okay, we're like, yeah, I get it. Younger kids are like, oh, graffiti. As long as you're not like carving, you know, shit in there. But you, you whipped out, you pulled out your pussy pad. Yeah. Started going to yeah. town. Dude, that just made me think of something that I had totally blocked out mentally. I, when I was in junior high, this girl was like the laughing stock of the school because a video went around of her pleasuring herself with Crayola crayons. Uh -huh. She's had a handful of Crayola crayons oh, and she God. was just like fucking going at it. And everyone just kept calling her Crayola. <laughs> and it was like, I didn't call her that because, you know, I'm not a monster, but. Uh, that just should, me if of someone that. ever wanted to borrow it, they should have been like, hey, can you pass me that pussy pink? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, can you hand me something? Not the crayons. <laughs> can you hand me that ovary orange? I mean, the, ovary the, the orange. orange. <laughs> God. All right. <laughs> I pushed a kid down, down the stairs to my bedroom because I really wanted him to go home when I was five years old. <laughs> Leave! Go home! Dude, I mean. So how young? Because I've seen some kid five years old. Okay, yeah. I've seen kids do some pretty reckless shit. Because like, they, do they don't fully understand stuff. that like other people are like people. Right, right, it's, right, like right. it's like the whole NPC thing exactly. like, where they're just like, I'm my own person. I'm yeah. done playing. You're right. And they're like, No, they're you like, need to leave. Go. <laughs> like, Push him down. Yeah, the stairs. not understanding that this will have dire consequences. That's wild. I accidentally caused a death of my squirrel. 
Remorse. Remorse. <laughs> I love all these little like anecdotes next to the thing. I, I, this one's a little bit more lighthearted than the Dirty Secrets one. Mm -hmm. So um, this is fun. Yeah. Accidentally caused the death of. It's his squirrel too. He has his own mm -hmm. squirrel. Yeah, and he helped rescue it. Is the thing. Aww. He helped to rescue it. And then um, it says he became tame very quick. When my mom went on a work trip, I came along. We brought the squirrel with us. We kept him in a ventilated bag for the day. We headed to my grandma's house with the squirrel. We unpacked. I put him on the floor in the room I was staying in. It got distracted. Forgot to shut the door. When I returned, he was in the bag, dead. My oh. grandmother's dog had drug him out and oh, killed no. him. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be horrible. That's like what a bear does to a camper. Yeah. So it's like a poor little squirrel. Just, <laughs> right. Ripping him from his home. Jesus. Squirrel. That's terrifying. I stole... Thousands of dollars in game consoles from Kmart. <laughs> That's why they went out yeah, of business. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? That's I was, why. I just passed like an old Kmart like yesterday. That's I think, so and I was funny. like, man, totally for rest, rest in peace, Kmart. Oh, it was man. you. <laughs> so basically, he says he worked in layaway. People would come in, put game consoles in layaway. Uh, they never paid them off. After some amount of time, they would purge them from the layaway system, and it was up to them to add them back to the inventory. He would just take them. I mean, shit. Did you get like caught <laughs> or like fired? He would drug and rob these game systems. <laughs> oh, you Cardi beat it. You're right. Hell yeah. I purposely commission abuse and burn out artists for fun. Okay, what? this one is, in, okay, I'm not gonna read, it's very long, but so basically what this guy would do is that he would find a struggling artist that would do like commissioned work. So a painting for 20 bucks. Well, uh -huh. I'll paint this for you for 20 bucks. Right. And he would essentially order 50 things. Mm -hmm. And he would just order and order and order and order and just Damn. like demand until the artist would literally take down their store oh because they were just done. Jesus Christ. And he did it purposefully just to shut them down. Oh my God. That's fucked. Dude. Also, I mean, it's kind of like, Cool though. Right, I mean, it's like, they're getting money for it, but they right. they couldn't, he would order like five things at a time, uh -huh. and then next week order five right, more, and, like and he would do things. it under like aliases. Right, so, so they would just like be backed up on yeah. these orders and be like, oh my fucking God. Until they finally would just shut down their Damn. store. That's so fucking, <laughs> that's <What>? so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Damn, um, a lot of money and a lot of time. Yeah, for real. So this one says, I Fuck. steal stuff almost every time I go out and I don't feel guilty. Usually it's just small dumb things, but um, sometimes bras and underwear, they're over $200 worth, so it's pretty much a klepto. I was gonna say, once you get addicted to that shit, yeah. it's like any other vice, you kinda just get addicted just kinda to the do bigger it, and bigger yeah. and until you get caught. Well, there's a Family Guy episode about that with Lois, remember? Oh, where yeah, she like yeah. starts stealing and she mm -hmm. basically steals an entire store. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's What are you real. talking about? I, I, my body just looks so <laughs> I shat in a kitchen sink. When I was 21. I shat in the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> he said his toilet in his apartment broke and the plumbers took days to fix it. So in the meantime, he just shat in his sink. He was 21, shat in his sink because his toilet's broke. I don't know what you're gonna do. Maybe walk, mean, yeah, dude, walk to Safeway or Fred or Walmart or something. Yeah, I dude, dude, I mean, when inspiration hits, my first choice would probably be, be the shower. Yeah. If, is, if running water or is still happening. Or shit in the happening. bathtub and Throw it in a hole yeah, in the wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Shit in the tub. Punch a hole in your wall. Shit in a hole. Cover a hole. Yeah, right. Problem solved. <laughs> smell like shit. Yeah. In your house. It's for... the old John Wayne Gacy routine. <laughs> you just put a bunch of shit in your crawl space and hope nobody smells it. Exactly. Uh, this one is peep hole peeping. Sometimes I stay near my front door when my Amazon package is about to be dropped off. In the delivery, if the delivery person is a couple stops away, I would look through the people until I see them park. Walk up to my porch, drop the package, take the picture of them. He would take a picture of them and leave. There's something exciting about a random person dropping off my package without them knowing that I'm watching them on the other side of the door. You're fucking weird. That's such a weird. It's like fetish. a cuck shit right there. It's yeah. like a, it's like a peeping tom, but for delivery men. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's like the, the it'd be like, one it's thing. It's like the power struggle like thing. If I'm like, oh, they don't even know that I'm like, I'm right here. Like, I can. Right, but I, I would do get it. That, anybody. That's such a like weird thing because I would get it if like, okay, I knew he was gonna show up, so I would just start jerking off. So I was on the other side of the door when he walks up to the Maybe door. Maybe it's not sexual. Maybe. Maybe it's just like a power thing. It would be like something like that though. I would understand, mm -hmm. I guess, in a weird fetish kind of thing. Oh, like, right, oh, they saying, don't yeah. know I'm jerking off mm -hmm. right next to them. Right. But just to sit there and be like, like, oh fuck yeah, <laughs> like. Dude. What? <laughs> so I, weird. Dude, some people, well, I mean, you fucking heard the other guy, he was coming on a pillow or something. <laughs> he was lonely. 
<laughs> All right, next up, I sent my friend to the hospital by hitting his vape after eating peanuts. Ooh, yo, that's a dick move. Yeah. How do you not know that? Yeah. That, that would make sense. <laughs> right. Maybe he didn't understand the, the drasticness right, his friend of his allergy, it. maybe. I guess, yeah. Damn, that's rough, man. I mean, did he die? I, that's a pretty say. rough way to hit. It says he got some shots and he went home. All right, that's good. Yeah, he was recovering. Damn, that could have been came. bad. Yeah. Does he know like that? That's why he never figured out where it came from, Fuck. and I never told him. But he's alive and well now, so even though I feel bad, I'm never gonna tell him. Yeah. Well, you should at least warn him. <laughs> yeah, or just don't do it again. Yeah, like, just, don't just, do it again. Just say like, no, not like warn him when, that you're gonna do it, but be like, hey man, I read this thing that like yeah. people can pass. Like, Dude, I read this confession on Reddit <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> that I so, typed. <laughs> yeah, right. You should like just be careful. Here's of that. a sticky dime show link. <laughs> Check it out. This one is I sent a box of shit to somebody. All right, Jared Leto. Yeah, he just. Uh, he said he had really annoying neighbors and they wouldn't stop screaming so whenever uh, the dogs would shit He'd collect it and mail them a large box of shit, bro. They were your neighbors and you mailed it to them. Yeah <laughs> That's just... Yeah just I assume it was like no return address <laughs> But it's just fucking funny <laughs> to think of like it going here somebody picking it up and it's like fault like putting a GoPro on that package right. to see it leave here go wait a while and then come back <laughs> right. to the same fucking place basically <laughs> Right, exactly <laughs> Um, I choked a girl with a mouse cord for spending my club ping pong <laughs> points. That took a turn. Dude, honestly, don't even, no repentance needed. God has got your back oh, on this Oh, man. <laughs> don't steal yeah. a man's pe club penguin coin. Right, it's right. It's valuable income. You Creighton? Yeah, that's just, that's it. That's yeah. all you need to know. Good. You just say he had a girl in class. I hope it said to her. death. No. no. <laughs> No, 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 no. He choked the life out of this girl for stealing my club bag. <laughs> he <laughs> noticed his coins dipping significantly and checked his inventory. <laughs> and he had a pink superhero <laughs> outfit that he never looked up before, so he knew it was her. Stacey, so he took uh, the mouse cord and just... Stacy, why don't you uh, come on in hey, my come office? To my office come to my office. Um, come to my peachy office. <laughs> like a little cubby setup. <laughs> come over here to the backpack palace. <laughs> There's a significant drop in my uh, penguin stock. If you've been uh, accessing company... Supplies <laughs> off the clock. The club <laughs> penguin coins. No. That's funny. It's like the scene in fucking Inglorious Bastards. Right. The shoe fits. Yeah. Like, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> right. I blew up my innocent pet cobra. Are cobras innocent? My uncle caught, uh, it says, my uncle caught uh, you while, I think he's writing this to his cobra. <laughs> it, I really do. It says, <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, it says, my uncle caught you while you were minding your own business. We put you in a plastic bottle. I was still a child when he gave you to me. I had fun with you, playing with you while you were tossed around in tiny space. I didn't know how dangerous cobras were, so when I read a wildlife book about cobras, I was struck. Like the clueless monster I am, I thought it would be funny and better for me to rid you from this world. So me and my friends gathered around a fire, threw a bottle which contained a blazing inferno and air inside bottle expands like a vein. Blew up his pet cobra. <laughs> I mean, is it a pet if you had it for the transaction of, oh no, fire. Like, yeah. <laughs> you were basically the javelin holder, or what, the, the baton passer. <laughs> right. Not really ownership yeah. there. Poor little innocent cobra. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. How do you just acquire a cobra? Yeah, Who just, gives a cobra yeah, to an a uncle, kid? An uncle, an yeah, uncle. Hey, my found, uncle found you. I found this dangerous snake. Right. Uh, this one says, my roommate is an arsehole, so every day I rub my sweaty balls on his pillow before he gets home from work. Is your roommate a 10 year old? Cause you're about to get your ass beat on me Yeah, for real. And he says the best thing is that he is a stomach sleeper so he gets a face full of nut juice every night. That's just a gross analogy. Okay, well, cause he's a, I don't know if you know, stomach sleepers don't sleep with their fucking face down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. And he's just like, how that fucking idiot? He's gonna be right in my nuts all night. It's like his ear will probably, he'll probably rub it. He's right. not gonna be like in it get all some, night. Get some pink ear from the nut juice. Pink ear from all the right. nut juice. Is that I, a Cardi B track? Oh my God. I catfished my girlfriend's older sister. Yo, catfishing, not a huge supporter. <laughs> right. <laughs> my girlfriend's older sister was pretty attractive. I always wondered how she looked without clothes on, so I catfished my girlfriend's older sister into sending me nudes by pretending to be some random guy on the internet. I now know how my girlfriend's older sister looks like naked. That's fucked up, man. I mean, you got a goal, you set out, you accomplish it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so poor, all of this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do what you gotta do. You know? I mean, you see some tits. You wanna see some tits? Like, Fucking catfish your girlfriend's older sister. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
But you know, I'm just saying respect the hustle. Like he <laughs> had a goal in mind and he did it. Like at least he didn't just sit there like a weirdo and go, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this and then never is it, do it. Is it being a weirdo more to just sit there and think about it or actually go through with it? I mean, it depends on <laughs> your definition of weird. <laughs> We're moving on. I punched my grandma in the face because I thought she was staring at me. <laughs> she was having a stroke, wasn't she? You dumb bitch, don't look at me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How? Because she, you thought she, even if she was staring at you, how was that a justifiable offense? Yeah, that's... My grandma had a bad neck and she just looked at me all the time. Right, right. Show it's that. like that one movie where the guy has his neck kink like this. I don't remember the movie, but he's just staring across the bar at this guy and the guy's like, you look at me for and he's like, uh, he's like but he can't was, move his neck. Right. I don't remember the movie, but something like that. I don't like remember that. either. That's funny. This one's kind of funny. I beat up my best friend and he doesn't know. So essentially what happened was he was hanging out with his best friend. They were very drunk and he just kicked the shit out of him, but his best friend didn't know it was him because it was like in a dark room. <laughs> so it was a party and he oh, yeah. kicked the shit out. I don't, I don't really know why just he did fun. this. Um, so, you know, you get your boys in the chamber and just start wrestling. Yeah, uh, Mr. Screaming and Laughing. He said he was screaming and laughing and it got to his brain. He was really drunk and it was just annoying him. And so, <laughs> he, yeah, he just like beat him up. He's sitting there with his beard. Bro, shut up. <laughs> Pretty bro, much, yeah. Bro, bro, shut the fuck <laughs> Right. <laughs> Except he had no idea. Escalation. Right. That's so funny. Uh, uh, I had a friend when I was younger that was obsessed with wanting to do a kidnapping prank to somebody. Mm -hmm. And like, just way too much to the point that I was like, you really want to kidnap this person, don't you? I was like, You, you might need to get help. I was like, this isn't, I don't want to do this just because of how much you're pushing for us yeah, to do right. He's like, yeah, I just really want to scare that kid, you know? I just want to like, teach him a lesson. I was like, what lesson? He's a kid. Yeah. He's like, no, it's like, it'd be really funny if we all just got like, ski masks. It'd be and, funny like, if we tortured him. Out of him and, like, and like, kidnapped him, like brought him to the field. I'm like, bro, I have seen Alpha Dog. <laughs> and yeah. that movie ends horribly. You're gonna give that kid a yeah. fucking heart attack or some shit. Yeah, that's like, a bad idea. Don't do that. For real. All right. I accidentally d drowned a newborn chicken in baked beans. Uh, I need a moment to process that one. Said he had a favorite chicken named Goldie and uh, she had laid some eggs and was sitting on them and he would go and um, check on her and he had some baked beans and uh, his mom made and he basically put the chicken in, in the beans and the chicken couldn't get out of the big bowl of beans and drown big beans. That doesn't sound like an accident. Yeah. That seems like a very intentional. Well, like, who's a like kid? He, he says he was a, a bug. kid. Says he was a kid. So he didn't know it would happen. But I essentially he was like, I mean, yeah. When like, I was a kid, I used to spit on bugs to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the same concept. You put a big <laughs> liquid on something that can't get out of it. Right, pretty much. Uh, he, making my family poor to make myself feel better. Oh my, what the fuck? So, okay, uh, Jesus. the last six months I've been borrowing money from my father's bank account to supplement his own small income. And it was relatively small amounts, but it was generally for stupid reasons like unhealthy foods, whatever. With the intent that he'd pay him back, but uh, he didn't and he has stolen um, he says he spent about three thousand dollars of his family's money over like a year, and if you're just you know that's that can be a lot of money if you if you have like you make twenty or thirty thousand a year that's yeah. literally ten percent or more of your money, and he would just pull it out of his dad's bank account little by little and so they wouldn't notice. I don't know how the dad wouldn't notice these weird transactions. Maybe he's well. I mean, some dads aren't very savvy. That's with shit true. Like that, so That's might true. Just not even notice. Yeah. Like it's like how a lot of phone companies get away with shit like that. There's like yeah. small charges that you don't really notice. Yeah. Shit, that's, dude, why? How does that make you feel better? <laughs> like, yeah. how does doing something vile and awful? Well, he says that it, he thought that having the money would make him feel better, but he realized that it didn't. Well, so, at least he uh, realized it. Yeah. This one says, I deliver food for a living and sometimes I eat people's food. That, I Yo. swear that's happened in Uber Eats before because I'll order like three or four things and I'll get like two of them and I'm like, I was charged for this item. Just Where is my item? And a lot of times too, like like Uber makes so much money that they like those types of just hey I didn't get my thing. They're like, oh here's a oh, yeah, here's refund, a refund yeah. and like an extra coupon. Like they don't give a shit. So yeah, a driver for sure could just do that right. if they wanted to, knowing that they could just you know just get a new free meal. Pretty much, he says yeah. I usually use a fork so I don't touch their food. But when Five Guys throws a pound of Cajun fries on top of some burgers in an untaped bag, I can't help myself. I've only done it with fries and fortune cookies, but I still feel bad about it. Still, okay, I mean, yeah, well, you're, you're kind of stealing. Yeah, but at least, like, 
thanks for not eating the meal. Like, yeah, thanks for like, not using your fingers, too. Yeah, also, it's like, a, like, at least he's a thief with some some respect. Yeah, right, right a like, respectful thief. He takes off his shoes before he robs you blind. Pretty <laughs> like, much, yeah. Um, I regularly stole my grandmother's liquid morphine and would administer it up my anus. <laughs> I mean, what are we even here for, bro? If that's not living, I don't yeah. know. What well, he says he had a seven year drug addiction to painkillers and he moved in with his grandma and found the morphine and then just started taking it up the anus. I think it's the plot to Winchester. Why would, okay, so like, I, I don't know much about like that kind of stuff, like morphine and shit, but I would not just think, let's shove it up my ass. Yeah, dude, you gotta be like, like fiending for a kick if you're just like, <laughs> oh, morphine, I'm just gonna put that right in my bum. I mean, <laughs> for real, like, that oh, seems like some crazy shit. Yeah, how do you even just know that that's like an okay thing to do? Yeah. Like, you don't put it in your mouth. You just or anything, research it real like... quick. Morphing an ass is okay. <laughs> Morphine ass question mark. Yeah, right. All right. Um, I yelled out, "You suck!" to an autistic kid. Uh oh. I mean, he <laughs> says he was he was in fifth grade and he was uh, really stupid and kind of racist and he always made jokes about people with disabilities. It was Keaton Jones. And um, and he said he yelled out, uh, "You suck!" and the special needs teacher came to him. She was really mad, told him it was an autist autistic kid. He felt terrible. Um, so he didn't want to get in trouble, so I just kept apologizing to her and told her I didn't know he was autistic, which was true, and she didn't acknowledge me. So I mean, well, he was just a punk. Yeah. Just a punk kid, but just, it's rough. Can you imagine just like being in a playground and, like, and oh, this kid just yell, you suck to an autistic kid? He'd be like, what the fuck? Like, Yo, Who are hell? you? For real, that's so funny. An asshole? Well, not really, but... Dude, that reminds me of high school. It's funny uh, if you would see it in a movie, not funny right, if you yeah, see it in real life. Right, yeah, you witness it. It's like a funny yeah. story in After Sight. Right, exactly. Uh, wait, wait, real quick. When I was in high school, my buddy Justin had uh, <laughs> accidentally made fun of this special needs kid. He didn't know that mm -hmm. he was, like, special. And he, this kid, he, he had come up to me, like, all the time during, like, lunch and, like, would hacky sack with us sometimes. Yeah. And he had no idea who he was. And he came up and he has this really bad stutter. And he was like, hey, 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 hey. my friend was just trying to give him shit. He was like, spit it out, stuttering Steve. And then the kid was like... I'll see you later, Austin. And then like, just did the saddest like walk away and all of us were like, bro, yeah. that dude's got like severe problem. And he's like, I don't know, no he doesn't. And he was like, you guys are fucking with me. It's just so just take it. I was like, you just fucking just roasted the special kid. Why would you do that? That's when you gotta like go after the kid and be like, dude, yo, yeah, for real, I'm yeah. so sorry. Like I didn't know. Yeah, we were homies. We hacky sacked all the time. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't like, oh dude, he got roasted. I can't talk to that guy Yeah, anymore. right, right. <laughs> All right, last one says, I am not gay. <laughs> Listen to me! <laughs> it's Alex Jones yelling and explaining that he's not gay. Yeah, right. So basically, to sum it up, he says he has this condition called phimosis where he has really tight foreskin <laughs> and Sorry. sex really hurts. Oh. So he doesn't have sex and he prefers to not have it at all. Um, sometimes he craves the intimacy of being with another person about two or three times a year when he's inconsolably horny, he says. He'll get plastered drunk, get on grinder, and invite a dude over to blast his butthole because the the feeling on his, you know, right. hurts so much. And he says, I don't really have a problem with this, but I am exclusively attracted to women. I actually am not gay, but I just don't really care enough for this to be an issue. It's just a couple of adults finding pleasure with each other. It's not a big deal to me, which, that's fine. But it's right just this. so f <laughs> All right. It's just so funny how he's like, I am not, not yeah. gay. Just like, first out the gate, not gay. Right, right. Dudes fuck my butt. Don't, I mean, and he, I come, but. He goes on to say, I'm also not bisexual and men do nothing for me. It's just the act that he like, that's his release because he can't insert himself into something without having excruciating pain. Which is honestly kind of sad. Yeah, like that really would sad. that would suck. I mean, you could try like a woman in a strap on. Yeah. To like. That's what I was thinking yeah, too. To make it not but be a dude fucking you. I don't know. Maybe that might be harder to find. Go I don't like, know. Go to like a massage parlor if you're craving, a, just a touch. A little prostate. Like, or just even touch. Like if, if it just seems like it's yeah some sort of physical interaction. Yeah. Like, get the get the prostate. I feel like there's other ways around it. <laughs> to, yeah. If you actually weren't gay. <laughs> I mean, more power to you, man. Yeah, do what do you, you gotta man. do. Sorry but about your it's tight just so funny how he was just like, I'm not gay! 
Oh, you keep calling me I'm not gay, my dick just hurts. Okay? I just like having men. Fuck me, okay? <laughs> it's hard to explain I have this condition. That is hard. It doesn't just sound know, like just like, the most like... <laughs> it's hard to, yeah, that's a really <laughs> hard thing to just tell somebody. Like, yeah, right. Okay, listen, but please do not interrupt. Yeah, exactly. You, you it's need gonna to, get weird. Hear, hear me out, okay? I'm not gay. It's called phimosis. I've got a tight dick. <laughs> right. And I can't fuck people. <laughs> yeah. It's very interesting. Very Man. interesting indeed. So yeah, that's um. The that's world about is a lot more interesting than I had thought. Uh, 20, Dude, than 20 this was ago. literally just me twenty minutes on Reddit. Like there was thousands. Twenty minutes changed a man's life. Thousands of these Dude, on Reddit. This is like, what should be at like amusement parks instead of like rides. Just it should facts. Be like, yeah, it should just be like crazy <laughs> secrets from people, like li like said to you audit like auditorily, like right. while you're going through like a small like slow roller coaster. Mm -hmm. It's just like. When I was seven, I jerked off my dad who thought who was blindfolded and thought it was mommy, but yeah. it was Sunny. Right. Like, you like, could literally oh make like God. you could literally make like short comedy skits out of half of these things. Yeah. Like, really, really dark. Some of them are really, really dark, but like the ones that are more silly, like the mm -hmm. "I'm not gay" one. Right, right. You know, just imagine right. just him <laughs> sitting down with his buddy, just being like, "So I want you to fuck me, but listen, I would pay I'm not good gay. money to hear Alex Jones narrate that." One. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm not gay. <laughs> I just, I got dudes come over to Grinder and I, they fuck me, my dick. Awesome. Joe, listen, my dick skin, some people don't know this, it's really, really tight. It's tighter than any man I know. <laughs> my dick skin's tight! <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, come back for more videos. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, rest thank in you. peace, tight dicks. <laughs> I'm not gay, get him away!